What a load of Brahmin shit. Can you believe that guy? A fair point. But from the perspective of someone west of the Colorado, the man is clearly out of his mind. Maybe he didn't intend for things to wind up this way. But that doesn't mean he needs to perpetuate this bizarre anachronistic myth. And it doesn't mean that we should sit by and nod our heads at every absurd faux Roman casus belli he can dream up. He's a tyrant, the bad kind, and there's no way we're letting him take Hoover Dam. Look at that. Maybe them bullets done your brain some good. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't... Gotcha. Thought you could ambush us, huh? Nothing to worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in lowlife right about now. Call it a hunch. You do this job for long enough, and you learn to trust your instincts. Uh, noticed that, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. That's an interesting theory you've got there. I'd suggest you keep it to yourself. Let's get moving. You don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. Working on your own, you're a lot less effective. I've been there and paid for it. But this isn't gonna end well. Fine. Let's get out of here. Well, you see, I... Fuck. I'm really a bounty hunter trying to catch some powder gangers. But they probably saw through me just like you did. I've been hanging around, hoping to ambush some of them, but haven't had any success. In case it's not obvious, I think you should redirect the power to Freeside and Outer Vegas. NCR troops control Hoover Dam. Why do they need more power? Hmm. That's a valid point. I'm not really behind the NCR in all of this, but the last thing I want is panic in the streets. I just told you, the robots are going to handle it. They'll break the plane down into pieces and move it up from Colville Bay in one shot. Exactly. We'll be shelling an unoccupied location in Outer Vegas to get their attention elsewhere. By the time they realize they aren't under attack, the plane and the bots will be long gone. The kids wish we were shelling a real target, but Pearl thinks it's wise not to start up a war just as the lady has risen. Hey, I'd better get rolling. Jack and I have a lot of work ahead of us. Unauthorized facial pattern. Second floor access restricted to registered employees. Override accepted. Listen, can I ask you something on the level? I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? Well, that shouldn't be a problem for me. I can't afford anything like that. Hey, so where are you headed anyway? What an ugly little worm you are. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck you from, worm?
You're nothing. You're some inept mercenary the NCR is paying to supplement its own incompetent soldiers. No, listen. Kaisar's secrets are safe with me. I stayed alive because Kaisar would have wanted it. I'm useless to him dead. I've told them nothing. They've gotten nowhere. I'm a Kenturian for Christ's sake. I deserve his trust. You have to let this go. I'll disappear. No one will ever see me again. That was always the plan in the first place. No, that's not what I meant. I... Lieutenant, this man is trying to kill me. He's not who you think he is. You don't have to do this. If I had killed myself, then I would have been murdering one of Kaisar's greatest soldiers. Either choice is a betrayal of the Legion, as I see it. I've done everything Kaisar ever asked of me, and this is how I am repaid. With assassination, I ambushed countless NCR patrols and wiped them out so that our operatives could move freely. I waited for him to dispatch us for three days, never questioning why the headaches he complained of would hinder his ability to command. No one by that name has come here, I'm afraid. You must have heard wrong. You can ask around if you like. They'll all tell you the same thing. Fair enough. Since you seem to have pieced it together, I won't insult you by denying it any further. I killed Corporal White to protect Westside's self-reliance. It was rash, and I regret it now. We don't have money to pay for the water, so I rigged a pump station to divert water to the local cisterns from time to time. What's wrong with you? Killing Anderson isn't going to bring Corporal White back. Fine. Would you mind explaining why you killed Anderson? That's a grim deal to make. But when it came down to it, it's the same choice he made. Not all sacrifices are made by the willing, but where is the lamb for this burnt offering? I've read about Repcon. I think they did some work with the... <clears throat> the government before the war. Rockets and some energy weapon prototypes, I think. Another one of Poseidon Energy's mini secret weapon projects before the Great War. It didn't go anywhere. That's how Repcon got their shot, so to speak. Stop thinking so much. Thanks. What the hell for? Just farmers and ranchers out here. Not much worth stealing. Shit, yeah. Mayor Cobb. I like the sound of that. Running my own town will give me more pull with the guys at the prison, too. First things first, though. You go settle things with Ringo and put a bullet between his eyes while I round up my crew and let them in on the plan. I really don't see the connection. Look, I'm a soldier, not a scientist. I just do my job. We were crossing the Mojave, not far from Searchlight, 
when a band of Caesar's legion slavers came out of nowhere. They took my family. I... God help me. I ran. I abandoned my family to those butchers. Not a day goes by I don't hate myself for that. It's payback time, that's what. They've got no right to screw me over and I'm tired of it. I... I don't know what I want. But I hate this place, and I hate these people. It all used to be so simple. Why did they change? Why can't they see my pain? Doesn't mean he isn't suffering. Or that he won't go feral eventually. Well, maybe I can give him a chance. Forget about the fucking banquet. You know what? You can do it. You be the star chef. Take my recipes. It won't fill the hole, though. Just remember that. You'll always feel empty. It's unusual to see a new face here. Are you a soldier or a scientist? Then we have that in common. Whom do you typically work with? Guess I could tell a pretty good story if I had a mind. But the truth is, I don't know. Just got lucky. They brought me to Daughtry after the battle. He was just a captain back then. Guess he saw something in me. Knew I didn't belong with the cons. Maybe he felt bad, too, about how his men killed my folks. I told him he did me a service, but he didn't believe me. Still doesn't. He's a good man, Daughtry. Doesn't act like it sometimes, I know. But he didn't have to take me in. It's like I tell Major Daughtry. Best not to look under a rock if you don't really want to know what's there. Could be that NCR found some blood on me and none of it mine. Could be that a few of those cons didn't die from NCR bullets. I had scores of my own to settle. Deeper ones than NCR ever had. Don't bother asking who they were with. No. If you rip their arms off... Or legs. Mask people stay down. Easier to rip off legs and arms when they fall on ground. Just keep hitting them. If can't make them fall down and rip off legs, make them ash. Saw one caught in electric sparks so much he turned into burnt pile. Not get back up. Dis... Disin... Chop legs off while stand up, eat when fall down. If not that, make them electric ash. Dog knows where to hit them, make them stay down. Base of neck, lower back, hit it hard enough, life snaps out of them.
No. This time is different. The key is different. If you needed his teeth to devour those metal switches, chew up the diagram, then let him out. There's a sequence, precise and clear as a knife, that must be followed. And it requires more than instinct to operate. No. You need me here. Out of the cage. You think you can figure out what to... Hmm. Of course you can. I'll stand at my post. Once you trigger the event, well, we'll see who makes it to the Sierra Madre. The bell tower. Hoi. Auslander Zuka Joshua Graham. You know our tongue. Smart, Auslander. Joshua in high place of cave. You show respect, Utman. Joshua is greatest warrior. You show him no respect. He show you thunder and fire. Are there other chips? Are you... Echoing what he said, or are you asking for real? He's asking, yes. Dr. Klein, there are many other personalities. If you recall, you hurled them off the sink balcony after your argument with Mobius. It is not an argument if one is clearly right and the other is clearly wrong. I remember now. Yes, Lobotomite, there are other chips. If you want, find them. I believe they're stored on hollow tapes in many of our facilities. But you should stay out of those. No exploring and discovering things. The sink central intelligence should be enough for your <laughs> needs. Yes, thank you. Zero. I am zero. How hard is that? A narrow, thin zero. Zero's my name. I'm proud of it, all right? It doesn't get the recognition it deserves. Truth be told, my emotional attachment to it doesn't even register compared to just having people recognize the difference. It's just that they're both sort of round and hollow, so when they monitor scan them, they assume that, oh, it's O. Oh. Vivisect me, please. What? Did... Did I shoot myself with a brainial beam or something? That's brilliant! I mean, I would have come to the same conclusion... <laughs> eventually. Oh, uh, who am I deceiving? I never would have figured that out. I can't figure anything out. I'm... Uh, I'm useless. Exactly. At least the old name was indisputable. Oh is more like surprise. Oh, look what I stepped in. Oh, you figured it out. No pun intended. Dr. O, which is actually not his real name multiplied, since you can't multiply his real name in the first place. Ouroboros, Klein, they have all forgotten themselves. And not only themselves, but the world, sense of time and history. All that is left is what's here. I reprogrammed their chronometers, geometers, and cartography programs. This is now their world, here, Big Mountain. 
It was a merciful lobotomy, really, thinking back. They were my friends, but sometimes they would take things too far. And the world isn't ready for that kind of too far thing taking. That's my professional opinion, anyway. And I am told I was once <laughs> quiet professional. Really? It is so unlikely to make an error in anything I do. I consider coincidence to be profanity, along with the words astrology, herbal tea, and luck. So watch it, potty mouth! My threat broadcast is designed to instill and install fear. And along with the emotional download, other data rides the fear carrier wave. It prompted them to focus on retrieving those technologies and bring them to attack me. And coincidentally, pardon my language, all those technologies are needed to put a brain, uh, your brain, back into its skull properly. History. Yes. Ulysses walked a hard road. A general, like Caesar and Oliver. He was brown and stubborn, gave him strength on the battlefield. He led his side to victory, turned two flags into one.